sense of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City. Today, the Church celebrates the Feast of St. John, Apostle and Evangelist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronald Ray S. Martinez, SVP, Vice Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Sa ngalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo, Amen. sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. At sumayin rin. Una muna po ay nasa loob na tayo na tinatawag na Octavo from the word 8, 8 days after Christmas ay ati pa rin sasariwain ang pagkakapanganak ni Jesus. So in these 8 days, my Gloria and then the, mass, the Masses are intensified. We prolong the celebration. Pangalawa po, ngayong araw din ito ay kapestahan po ni San Juan, Apostle and Evangelist. And for us to worthily offer ourselves in this celebration, let us first recall our sins and ask God for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kapayapaan sa mga taong kinalulugdan niya, pinupuri ka namin, dinarangal ka namin, sinasamba ka namin, ipinagbubuni ka namin, pinasasalamatan ka namin dahil sa dakila mong angking kapurihan. Panginoong Diyos, Hari ng Langit, Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat, Panginoong Heso Kristo, bugtong na anak, Panginoong Diyos, Kordero ng Diyos, 
anak ng Ama, Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan, maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan, tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama, maawa ka sa amin. Sapagkat ikaw lamang ang banal, ikaw lamang ang Panginoon, ikaw lamang o Heso Kristo, ang kataas-taasan, kasama ng Espiritu Santo, sa kadakilaan ng Diyos Ama. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant we pray that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands, concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible, we have seen it and testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, for our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all people see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, ye just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and told them they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster. Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, 
but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is faith? Ano ba talaga ang panampalataya? Anong ibig sabihin niyan pag ikaw ay nampalataya sa Diyos? Kasi ang tawag naman sa hindi niniwala sa Diyos ay atheist. Ibig sabihin, absence of belief to a certain deity. Yan ang atheist. Meron silang dalawang main reasons bakit hindi sila naniniwala na may Diyos. Kasi una, wala namang ebidensya. Kasi di ba God is invisible? He is a pure mystery. You cannot see Him by your eyes. Unless you have to say to your IATs, that's the evidence you have. Second, they don't believe in God because if God is really there, why there is suffering? But you know, do we really need a visible proof as a condition to believe in God? Hindi ba sapat na ang kanya pagmamahal at ating buhay? Naalala ko tuloy si Fatima Soriano kasi dito ako nag-college sa Christ the King. I spent five years here from 2000 to 2005. Ngayon, mga 2002, nakikita ko minsan may bumibisati dito kay Father Jero Arbos. Bata na bulag. Siya pala ay si Father, ay siya pala ay si Fatima Soriano. So hanggang ngayon, nandiyan pa rin siya, but she is already based, I think, in the U.S., but still testifying to God. Ano pala siya, pinanganak na bulag, born blind, at he, na, nagkaroon siyang dalawang kidney transplant. Ang kanya mga messages sa kanya mga radio interview, at minsan, kumakanta kasi siya, may mga sumasama siya sa concert, uh, ang kanya message ay, Trust God. Trust God's love, for He is the source of light and hope. Yen lang yen lagi kanya bukam bibig. Alam yu po, two thousand two pa yun na until today ibig sabihin consistent siya, consistent. Kung tatanungin mas marami siyang dahilan siguro kaysa sa yu para magtampo sa Dios. Magcomplain, maghimotok. Because she was born blind, and how can she testify that to ang Dios? Di niya mga nakita, kasi bulag nga siya. So how she cannot see God? Pero why it's very true to her? Bakit tuto ng tuto sa kanya ang Dios? And she is so convinced. She even tell other people and try to inspire many people. Ano pinagkaiba? The difference is. Kahit po siya ay bulag, pero ang kanyang puso ay punong-puno ng panampalataya. That's why, though physically she cannot see, but her heart can see. Because faith comes from the heart. Please be reminded of that, just in case tumada po tayo ngayon sa crisis of faith. You are doubting God because instead of good things happening to you, bad things are happening to you. Kaya nga ang faith is, even things are bad, your heart is still willing to accept the presence of God, even is invisible. Sinasabi ko ito ngayon sa inyo because yan ang gospel ngayon. Tumakbo sila Pedro, kasi sabi nga ni Magdalena, kinuwa daw si Jesus. Pagpasok nila sa kweba, ang nakita ni Pedro ay yung damit lamang and nothing beyond. Kaya ang kanyang conclusion, kinuha nga talaga si Jesus. Pero itong si San Juan, sabi sa gospel, na nakita niya yung mga damit ni Jesus, he saw and believed. Ibig sabihin, naging sinyali sa kanya yung damit na iyon, na totoo nga si Jesus ay muling nabuhay. So nakita natin, there's a too big difference between Peter and John. Para kay Juan, na nakita niya yung damit ni Jesus doon sa nakalapag, 
it's naging sinyalis iyon to transport him to another reality. Kasi pag mayroon ka talang panampalataya, you will be transported to other reality. You will see beyond. You will see things differently. Kaya nga, to close his homily, allow me to, to share to you three points, practical points about faith. Una, ang faith po is, you keep on believing and accepting God even there is no scientific proof. Many times talaga yung mind natin loves to question things and ask for evidences. But God is beyond evidence. Sabi, kaya y- yan ang sinabi ni Jesus, do not test me. Ang ating isip ay limited. Tanggapin po natin, limitado po yan. Kaya nga huwag kayo gagawa ng desisyon. Kung kayo ay sobrang problem kasi baka ang nakita nyo lang is caused by the limited mind. Ang iba nagpapakamatay na. But ang problema, nakikita mo lang naman because your mind is limited. Di mo naman nakita yung kabila. Nakita mo lang naman yung, yung gusto mong tingnan. Kaya nga maganda talaga ang faith is in the other part of our system, in the heart. Because it sees other things. So huwag kayong, huwag kayong mag-give up. Ang nakita nyo lang, yung nakita ng utak di nyo pa nakikita, yung makikita ng puso. Yan ang sabi ni San Agustin, you need first to believe so that you can understand. You need first to believe so that you can understand. Maunawaan mo lang kung ikaw muna ay maniniwala sa kanya. So pangalawa naman po pala, when you are confronted with tragedy in life, mga tragedy sa buhay, Sometimes kasi talaga, it's easier to doubt than to believe. It's easier to complain, to be disappointed. Pero sana, in the midst of it all, do not give up your faith. Kasi all the more faith is your most important weapon to help you cope and deal with your problems. You will become stronger in the midst of pain. You will find meaning. You will have the power to accept when you have faith. You will, you will see your situation from a different angle and God will lead you to other, other direction. You will bounce back because of your faith in God. Naala ko tuloy yung namit kong tao. He said, yung isang kanyang business ay nabankrap. Sa una, he was so devastated. Alam niyo how faith helped him? Sabi niya, nakita niya daw, kahit na wala kanyang business, parang meron din na purpose si Lord na gusto nang ipatid sa kanya. Kasi yung business niya daw talaga is taking away a lot of his time from his family to the point that they became very greedy and sinful. Sabi niya, siguro, Father, God loves me. God wants to save my soul. Kaya inilis niya yung business na, na, na yun sa akin and lead me to other direction. As ang conclusion niya, God cares for me. So you see what faith can do? Baka yung mga taong walang panampalataya, lumukso na sa building. But you see what faith can do? It will see, it will help you see differently. And last po pala, always cling to God no matter what. Yan si St. John. Yan ang strength ni St. John. Si St. John, nang bata kami hanggang ngayon, meron kami sa bahay na parang imahin ng seven, ng last supper. Natataka ako sa tabi ni Jesus doon para may humihiga na ano. Akala ko babae kasi mababa ang buhok. Yung pala si St. John. Kasi sabi sa gospel ng Last Supper, the beloved disciple was reclining. Nang tininan ko sa Tagalog version ng recline, ay humihiga. Because talaga si St. John ay malambing. Malambing. Close to Jesus. Loved by Jesus. Yan din po ang tawag sa atin that no matter what, whatever happens, recline to Jesus. Do not crack under pressure. Instead, even you are suffering, bless the name of the Lord. Yan ang nakita ko po in closing sa Kiapo Church. Pagpasok ko, naku, marami pala doon na naglalakad na paluhod papunta sa sanctuary. <laughs> Tapos pag nakaabot na sa sanctuary, either they will open their hands, tapos they will prostrate yung parang higa na paano, declaring their total love in Jesus despite of their suffering. And I believe at that very moment, 
inside them, there is an explosion of joy and of peace that even that, that they find meaning in the midst of their suffering and they, in, they see in the future that, there's the, that their problem will end soon and God will declare victory for them. So God bless everyone. Please rise for the prayer of the faithful. For every prayer, your response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be zealous in her apostolic mission entrusted to her by Christ. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may strive to conform our wills to that of Christ. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That like St. John, we may have a deep knowledge of Jesus by studying the truths of our faith. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may have the courage to follow Christ to the cross and to the empty tomb. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may share in St. John's gentle love for Our Lady. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In silence in our hearts, let us pray for our other intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church sanctify the offerings we have made O Lord we pray and grant that from the banquet of this supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word just us from the same source you revealed it to your apostle john 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto Ongchoko, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially John, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay laging sumain nyo. At sumayin. Tayo po ay magbahaginan ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Peace to everyone. Those in the online, Facebook and YouTube channels, peace to all of you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Sisters and brothers, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Word made flesh proclaimed by the Blessed John Apostle may through this mystery which we have celebrated ever dwell among us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renademitz, pray for us. Kindly be seated for some announcements. Our regular mass schedules are as follows. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. New Year's Eve Mass on December 31 is at 8 p.m. On January 1, 2022, New Year's Day, Masses will be at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Said masses will be live streamed and open to the public. To ensure the safety of everyone, observance of health and safety standards, such as physical distancing, wearing of face mask, and use of sanitizer, and taking of body temperature is still in place. Please bring your vaccination cards or IDs to be presented at the entrance. Schedule of confession is every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The Shrine Calendar for 2022 is now available at 50 pesos and the Book of Father Jerry Orbos SVD Cleansing Moments is at 120 pesos. You may buy them outside the church or at the Shrine Office. Thank you, Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD Shrine Rector. Remain seated. Na mention po yung calendar. So tapos na yung Christmas Day na December 25. We are now looking forward for the new year. So baka po wala pa kayong mga kalendaryo. Just in case may mga driver kayo o malapit kayo dito along Quezon City, pwede kayo dumaan dito sa amin sa Christ the King Seminary. Just pass by either Don's Information Office or dito po sa Shrine Office and ask the staff for the calendar. Our calendar features for this year yung simbahan, yung fasad, yung harapan. At ang simbahan po palang ito ay bago ito naging Shrine of Jesus, ito muna ay Christ the King Chapel 
kasi ito talagang simbahan ito ay ang main purpose nito dati early ay for the seminarians kasi punong-puno na yung dati kasi ang chapel lang man yan sa seminaryo yung library ngayon umabot na kasi na 1960s na 500 yung seminarista so yung mga German priest and ano thought of building this this, sim, this simbahan tapos nakinahalata nila pag Sunday may mga tagalabas na nakikisimba hinayaan lang nila ang tinadevelop po na itong Christ the King is being visited by many people especially along Metro Manila so thank you through the years and if you want to part of that long history you can take get get a copy of our calendar a sign of memorabilia pangalawa ako po pala ay gumagawa ng prayer every day uh, and, and I am posting it sa Facebook page na Words to Light Our Path at saka yung sa YouTube channel na Words to Light Our Path I know we can pray eh, pero sometimes we need guidance in our prayer to articulate what's in our thoughts at the same time, our prayer needs to be objective also at the same time biblical and according to the teaching of the church, very well guided so I am encouraging you, baka it makatulong sa inyo in your daily prayer life yung ginagawa kung kinocompose na prayer every day you can find it in Words of Light Our Path, Facebook and YouTube and I think the posters are being posted now on the screen sa online thank you in advance baka lang naman makatulong so once again, happy feast day St. John at pangalawa, Merry Christmas to all of you kasi ang Christmas Jesus sa Sibang Katoliko hanggang sa binyag pa po na Jesus sa River Jordan, mahaba-haba itong season. So enjoy the moment. Magsitayo tayo for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.